All right, now in this video, I just want to show you um, some quick pictures inside of mobile homes and also tell you kind of what you're going to be seeing um, with mobile homes uh, on the interior. Now, we're not going to talk about how to outsource repairs or even what repairs will be needed uh, to get the home into a condition where you can then resell it for top dollar, um, top dollar with money down and then taking payments or all cash. Um, we're going to do that on a separate video in a different module, but I do want to show you what you're going to be looking at when you go into newer and uh, older manufactured homes. Now I want you to go to the repo lot so you can see mobile homes on the insides and the outsides, and even they'll be cut in half so you can kind of look through them um, and see actually how they're, how they're built. But I want to show you pictures right now, and you can tell um, from these pictures that you're going to see a lot of the same things that you see in uh, normal traditionally built homes. You're going to see um, jacuzzi tubs, fireplaces, skylights, uh, kitchen islands. You see all sorts of different floor coverings from tile to this looks like faux wood to uh, linoleum squares, linoleum up top here and then carpet. Um, you can tell this kitchen has an island and looks relatively new. All the cabinets are nice. Um, these are all double wides from the looks of it. You can tell this is an older double wide in the top right picture um, because uh, it looks older. And obviously the wallpaper, you're going to see wallpaper a lot in manufactured homes. Um, the bottom right picture, that's a fl uh, more of a flat roof, but it is a double wide. And this is newer because you can tell that, um, whereas this is paneling up top here, uh, you actually have drywall throughout the main area of the house. Drywall up here too. Uh, and this looks like it might be a combination of drywall and paneling. We're going to talk about exactly what that is. Um, you're going to see a lot of the same stuff as in regular homes. We just talked about that. Water is a big enemy in manufactured homes because um, they're typically made um, out of OSB or lesser quality wood. Um, and this saves mo time and money and cost. Um, but that does soak up water and it holds water like a sponge so water is an enemy with manufactured homes and you're gonna sometimes walk into a manufactured home and and it's gonna have a smell okay now that's not necessarily a bad thing smells are okay bugs are okay um, but we do want to look for obviously foundation repairs um, you know and, and the, the big five electrical plumbing roof um, the foundation and the the HVAC okay so we gotta make sure all those things are, are fine and obviously the home can sell um, but again in this video just want to show you the nice pictures um, and then this one down here like of a lesser quality manufactured home that's still fine you can see the rug looks purple and old it looks maybe cut up once or twice I can even imagine some bugs running around uh, in this picture now that's okay because when other people come into a, a mobile home and it smells and there's bugs running around guess what they're not gonna wanna buy it so of course that home is gonna sit on the market uh, the seller is gonna get more and more desperate so bad smells are okay uh, you don't want a dead body in there of course and then bugs are okay um, because they're gonna gross a lot of people out um, which is mean you're going to get, uh, you know, that's a huge negotiation tool, uh, and then you can go home and get the home um, at, uh, you know, the best price that we can. Now, you're going to notice drywall versus paneling. Drywall is thick. It has to be mudded and taped, and in most of our homes, um, or, or where you live now, you're probably going to have drywall. Paneling uh, is a couple of millimeters thick, um, and it doesn't require any mudding, any taping. You just um, hammer it up, uh, and the most popular kind is this ugly faux wood, which is the top right picture. Um, and then this is paneling here too, which was painted. It was this wood paneling that was painted over, which I think looks just fine. Um, now they typically, even in newer homes, um, they're going to have uh, either paneling or drywall. But in order to save time and production costs at the factory, um, there's still a lot of homes are being sold with the paneling because you don't have to mud it or tape. Um, and then it's also more flexible, the, the paneling. Both can be bought at Home Depot or Lowe's for about the same price between like $8 and $15 depending on what kind you get. Um, and that's what you're going to see when you go inside mobile homes. Um, again, we're going to talk about the repairs um, you know, and exactly when you walk through a home, um, your first time with a seller, what you need to be looking for. That's on a separate video in Module 2. Um, but this should get you, let's look again at those pictures, again, just to kind of get into the mindset of, hey, okay, I'm going into a manufactured home now. Um, okay, I'm, gonna, you know, I, I'm above the ground. I'm not in a, 
a frame home or a concrete block home. This is a manufactured home. It's still a home. It's beautiful. Um, all different ages. You can tell as they age, you're going to be really begin to notice um, things, and you can even um, you know things things to look for, and you can even from the inside of a home tell which is older, which is newer, um, and then problem errors. We're going to go into some of that in module two, um, but I just wanted to show you again the different pictures inside and out, and all of these pictures are acceptable. Um, all of these homes are acceptable. Um, this looks like a single wide here. This looks like a single wide here because it's so narrow and you can tell how whereas the windows are high up on this home and on this home and on this home you can see the windows are really low maybe a foot or less than a foot off of the ground both on this side of the home and this side of the home uh, and there's a flat roof this is indicative of older style mobile homes um, and you can see the floor vents floor vents for the central heat and air system um, I don't see any in this picture or in this picture, um, but the vents you will notice um, as you're walking around for the central heat and air. All right, guys, that's what you're going to be looking at when you go into mobile homes um, until we get into module two and we really dissect what you want to be looking for um, and really key things to negotiate on and you know what you need to look for when you're walking through a home with a seller. Um, that's in module two, but I hope that this whetted your um, taste buds to manufactured homes.